To Remember Our Promises by Sarah C. Stewart. Bring who you are as you enter our church this morning. Bring your best self and your struggling self. Bring your mistakes and your triumphs. Bring your shortcomings and your recommitment to good. Bring yourself here and open your heart to beauty, to truth, to the door that is open to the presence of God. Here in this church, we are trying to walk together on the peaceable way, trying to hammer out division and hatred and all that separates one from another. We try and we will fall short, but held in love, we try again. We come together this morning as a church to bow our heads in prayer, to raise our voices in song, to remember our promises and vow to live by them once again. We would like to share with you some elements of the covenant that we as the youth have agreed on for this year. The covenant is rewritten at the beginning of each school year with everyone participating in its writing and then signing of their agreement. First, we have the Vegas rule. What happens in youth group stays in youth group. <laughs> Seek first to understand and then to be understood. I heard some bad news that my grandma is really sick. So, my grandma gets sick all the time, and she's fine, but like, OMG, yesterday I was on this date with a really hot guy, and my mascara smudged, and everybody saw it, and I like didn't realize till after, and it was so horrible. <sighs> oh, well that sucks. <laughs> I heard some bad news that my grandma is really sick. Oh no, that's so horrible. I'm here if you have anything to talk about. Thanks for your support. <laughs> Just have fun. Respect umbrella. Respecting all people and all property, all of everything, is called the respect umbrella. Use I messages to communicate feelings. You hurt my feelings the other day when you said you didn't like my hair. Wow, rude much? I know who I'm not talking to for a while. I felt hurt when we were arguing about my hair the other day. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I just wouldn't do that to my hair. <laughs> Be nice. Assume good intentions. Take responsibility for the impact of your words and actions and commit to work it out when conflicts happen. Hey, why did you take the chips? Uh, no I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. You're holding them in your hand. You were stealing them, weren't you? You idiot. I did not. What makes you think that? You did so. I did not. Did so. <laughs> I did not. That's it. I'm not talking f to you anymore. Well, if I did do something, I ain't going to try and fix it. <sighs> Oh, hey, where'd you get the chips? Oh, just from that cabinet over there. Uh, oh, those were for later. Oh, they were? So sorry, wasn't aware of that. It's fine, you didn't know. We should have a labeling system or something, you know, just try to <laughs> avoid that happening, maybe categorize the, uh, the types alphabetically, numerically, and top to bottom shelf, or ordered by category as well. Okay, I'll... <laughs> Curse responsibly. Cursing responsibly means people don't care if you curse, but you just make sure that you don't curse too often. <laughs> <laughs> or at someone. Yeah. Right to revisit and revise the covenant is as needed. Okay, so the right to visit and revise the covenant is that if you feel that a rule is not working on the covenant or that we don't really need it, you can take it off as long as everyone agrees to it. And also, if people don't agree with the rule, I don't know this. I... <laughs> okay. And if you think of a rule that you would like to add to the covenant that you didn't think of when we were making it, then you can gladly say that rule. And if everyone agrees on it, we put it on the covenant. A Covenant Invites Relationship by Lisa Ward. A covenant is not a definition of a relationship. It is the framework for our relating. 
A covenant leaves room for chance and change. It is humble towards evolution. It claims, I will abide with you in this common endeavor, be present as best I can in our becoming. This calls for a level of trust, courage, and sacrifice that needs to be nurtured, renewed, and affirmed on a regular basis. A creed uh, creates a static truth, something uh, that does not incorporate uh, new insight and uh, realities. A covenant is a dance of co-creation, keeping in step with one another in the flow of our lives. A creed seeks uniformity and a unison voice. A creed uh, gives authority to a statement. A covenant it gives authority to shared intention. A covenant seeks harmony and a shared voice. Sometimes we may arrive at a unison, but it is not required. A creed creates an us and them. A covenant invites relationship. A creed is a prescription uh, that must be relied on. A covenant relies on the treasures of a shared truth. The overall trust with this covenant is in the truth, capital T, something which no one person can fully see, yet something with each and every person can come to know. In glimpses, in another story, in epiphanies, truth is ever-changing in our seeking to understand. Because of our limited perspective, we grow into a deeper sense of the meaning of all things when we take our journey seriously with full heart and mind. The courage within this covenant is uh, the acceptance and uh, celebration of life uh, with all of its uh, challenges, pain, ironies, and joy, and uh, the sacrifice uh, uh, within uh, this covenant it is the letting uh, go of uh, dogma, of uh, assumptions, of uh, control, and uh, giving over uh, to a greater wisdom, which uh, comes uh, to us in bits and pieces. The task of this covenant is to take responsibility for the freedom we espouse. We know that we are interconnected, and what we do creates ripples of hope or despair or affirmation or negation. What we do with with and for one another is powerful and beyond our imagining. Love is the spirit of this church, and service is its law. This is our great covenant, to dwell together in peace, to seek uh, the truth and love, and to help one another. James Avila Blake